Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, north uh, milking cow barn here. And we're working on the manure augers. So we scrape the, when we scrape the manure from these pens, we scrape it to this auger here in the floor. And this uh, takes it down to our sand manure separation building. So we did the south barn this morning here. That'd be auger two in the north barn here today. South barn wasn't too bad actually. We replaced the bolts on uh, maybe five or six spots and then cleaned the rest of them up. Didn't replace any uh, shafts or bearings. They all look pretty good. There was one that we'll probably have to replace next year it looks like. So I, I just got over here. But Sam and Kiss Young will be coming here shortly. Sam's just walking over here now. I'm gonna get the water hose over here to clean these up, but I'm gonna show you guys here before we get started what we're looking for. So you can see there's there's two big bolts going through a shaft, and these augers are actually suspended in this trough so they don't wear us uh, quickly. But this one here, there's a bottom plate right there. That plate is loose by the looks of it, so this is one where we'll more than likely just replace bolts. Auger still looks okay, but there was one auger over here that I saw already. I think it was this one. There's a crack in the auger itself, right underneath kind of where that plate is. So this auger will have to replace for sure before it completely rips off. bolt off with the grinder and then push the rest of the bolt through and then there's a cap that comes off this one still looks like it's in pretty good shape we'll clean this one up use the water to uh, clean that opening so that cap is on there so you can remove the auger you can take one section of auger out did one already here, this one is done. You guys are not going to be able to see that. I'll film some more when we get to this next one here because this auger has to come out. There's a little bit more that, to that. So we have to take all the grates out and then undo the bolts on both sides but we also have to undo the green plate that's holding that bearing in place to be able to lift that auger out of there. Cut one at a time because that way the auger stays uh, suspended. Put new, clean the plate up. This plate was good to be used again. Put that back on. Put a new bolt in, new nut on, and then we'll cut the other side off. The other bolt.
bien, está bien. Yo lo veo. No quiero. Me meto si voy a ocupar. Double nut with the locking nut so it can't come loose or wiggle loose. Jay Luis is here too, Jay Luis, Christian, Sam, they want to be YouTube stars, they say. Huh? <laughs> we have the auger exposed, we pulled this plate off, because that's that hanger bearing there, that needs to be moved so we can lift this auger up and out this way. We cut the bolts on the auger, turned it so the opening's on the bottom, and we should be able to lift it out. So we'll have to li lift straight up, and then come this way a little bit, and then out. So that end that was uh, just about to rip apart we can cut that off and our welder has uh, ends that we can cut that off put a new end on it then we can still use that auger um, especially we do that if the holes get sloppy the bolt holes and we can replace that end and we don't have to waste a whole new auger just uh, put it beside for now we need to clean the insides so it goes on the shaft. Ready? Yeah, that looks, that's okay. Now we'll, we'll put the green piece back on first, connect that hanger bearing and then it'll pull the shaft up into the new auger and then we'll put new bolts in. That's okay, Jose Luis. That's okay. Got the auger back in place. I put this side together, so we got that green plate back in place. Bolts, new bolts on the hanger bearing, new bolts on the auger. I'll let them get this side put back together, and then we're gonna have to put new bolts and a new plate on uh, this auger here too. It looks like. I figured while I'm over here, I could show you guys um, so this this pen and that pen over there. These are pen seven and eight. Those are the two pens where we adjusted that neck rail. Take a look at how some of these heifers are laying. It's been uh, what, a couple weeks now, I suppose. Looks like they're laying a lot better than they were. Definitely was uh, definitely was a good move adjusting that neck rail here. It looks like they're all laying. I don't see uh, maybe this one here is laying maybe a little forwarded, but that's one out of uh, what thirty out of the line here, so I can't complain about that. 
pretty happy with how that turned out. As you can see, we've got the mill curtain open. It's uh, really starting to warm up. Still have some uh, snow piles out there, but the grass is turning green. It's, uh, fields are drying out pretty quickly. Talked to a manure, custom manure pumping crew this morning. They're planning to be here in about a week. Um, yeah, it's, uh, what is it today? It's Wednesday today. He said probably Monday, Tuesday next week uh, to be done at the farm. They're on now in uh, Western North Dakota and they're headed back this way towards Minnesota. So uh, probably see some uh, videos of field work here in the near future. Hey girl. We just got started on this one. The, uh, the auger in the south barn, that took us just an afternoon, about four hours. That went pretty good actually, about three hours. But we didn't have to replace any augers in that one. So we're, we're two hours into this one and we're only maybe a quarter of the way. Makes a big difference if uh, we try to do this in the fall and the spring twice a year, go through and check bolts. It seems like if you keep the bolts good and tight, then you have less issues with the augers themselves too. So it just makes things easier. Not a, I don't know if there's any jobs on the farm that I hate, but this is probably the one that I dislike the most. It's just uh, difficult to work in down in that gutter, bending over, sitting on your knees all day. It's just not a, not a whole lot of fun, but better to get, get this done here now. Then we should be good for the summer. Don't have to worry about it. And then this fall we'll come through and check them again. So, uh, a couple days of work but it saves you big headaches if uh, we just keep on top of it. Going? You have to turn the auger a little bit. The new ones are always a little tougher to get back in because they've never been slid over a shaft so they're always yeah. super tight yeah that's it. it's a good thing but it's going to be a kind of difficult to get the bolts to, in the first time there we go you can probably use the bar to push it through A uh, couple days later here, just finished the last auger. So we have three of these uh, augers. This last one we were working on here was behind the holding area, behind the milking parlor. This one takes the longest time because there's always cows coming through this area. And it's uh, this is the auger that runs the most. But it's uh, about 12.30, cows come to the parlor again at 12.45. So got done just in time. I just uh, fired it up here just to make sure that everything's running good. So these first two here, we ended up replacing just the shaft on these. And, uh, thought I could show you a couple of these augers that we pulled out and what uh, what happened to them. Or you can see there's there's a crack all the way through here. This one is cracked just about around. That one was close to letting go, and you can see that one there. The hole is completely slopped out. So the nice thing is uh, the, the ends of those augers can be cut off and we have inserts for them. So we'll take, we take them to our welder, he cuts them off, puts the inserts in, welds them back up and then uh, we can use them again. Doesn't happen often that we have to throw away an auger. Maybe a timer. We had one break in the center one time, that must have been a, just a bad one I guess. But Glad to be done with this job. I have sore knees and a sore back for a couple days. but. Shouldn't have to work on these again uh, for another six months or so, so that's a uh, good feeling. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, post them down below. Hopefully we'll uh, see you in the next video.